Hello and welcome to ESG Finance. Today I'd like to share with you guys my wish list for the Cybertruck. If you guys want to share your wish list, please do it in the comment section below. Cybertruck is an all electric pickup truck that will be put out by Tesla in 2023. I'm not sure if that means that it will be delivered in 2023 or that they will just begin manufacturing the truck. But we'll see. Elon has recently announced in an interview that the final iteration of the truck is locked in. So I'd like to share with you a couple of features that I would like to see available on the truck. Of course, not all of these features every buyer of the Cybertruck is going to want, but we'll see what they offer in the future. The first feature that I'd like to see on the Cybertruck is a cook stove and here's a picture from electric that has been submitted for patent and as you can see there's a tent and a cook stove coming out of the bed of the truck the tailgate is right underneath the cook stove right there this does look awesome we'll see if they actually follow through with this elon in his interview last week also mentioned that tesla doesn't like to make a lot of variations on their models and they do not like a lot of options I can tell you I am a Model 3 owner and they do have a lot of options, but they're more like electronic. For instance, they just got another tier of uh, self-driving out there. So I believe that there's like three tiers of self-driving and you can also access a lot of content in the car on the console. The cook stove would be awesome. Even if they don't come out with this, there should still be a plug in the back so that you could you know, plug in your own electric stove. I don't like the tent too much and we'll get into that a bit later. I don't think that I would be utilizing the tent. The next design feature is actually already made in real life. Some of you aren't gonna believe me, but they do have pictures like drone photos of this Cybertruck that actually drives around the SpaceX campus. That's right, it's a dually version of the Cybertruck and it does have this um, roof rack on the back. And this roof rack is the reason why I wouldn't really use the tent. We'll see if this is an option for the Cybertruck. It does look like it would give you a lot of utility, a lot of storage space on the top. If they kind of enclosed it a bit, it could be like a camper shell or something like that. I would prefer that over the tent uh, because it would be more of a rigid structure, something more permanent and um, it does look pretty cool. Takes away from the trapezoidal design and makes it look more a normal truck that's more square. Uh, I also like this um, kind of bumper tailgate on the front. I'm not sure about the lights because one of the first iterations of the Cybertruck did have a light bar on the top, and um, this still has door handles on it, which they're gonna get rid of as well. I would not go for the dually version. I wouldn't really f have any need for that. I'm not gonna be hauling any like heavy loads or anything, but this uh, version of the Cybertruck is really cool and uh, does exist in real life. The next feature that I'd like to see on the Cybertruck is a Starlink, and the Starlink could somehow be integrated into the design or even integrated into the roof rack somehow and just pop up or even just have some way of stowing it inside of the cab as long as you can get a view of like the southern sky you should be able to use starlink they did provide starlinks to ukraine with cigarette cigarette lighter attachments um, so that you could use them, um, you know, out in the field. They were working on an iteration of Starlink for use while in motion. So right now you could use it out of your car, but it'd have to be stationary. And it is one of the most widely used apps in Ukraine right now. So it would offer a lot of versatility. If you are out and about in the wilderness or something like that, you could still get internet and there is going to be a large screen in the front. You can see it through the window right here. So you could like watch movies or, you know, play video games on that. So that would be quite exciting if there was a Starlink integration with the Cybertruck. The next feature that I'd like to see, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's an opening between the bed and the cab here. And the two seats in the back have folded down. 
And mainly I'm thinking that I would like this feature if I was hauling something around like building materials, but most definitely my surfboards. And the reason why I'm from Southern California and um, I would never want my surfboard like parked anywhere in Southern California on top of my roof rack. I always like my surfboards in the middle of my car uh, just for security purposes. And the vault doors would close and give you security as well as the tailgate, depending on the size of your surfboard. But I think that that would make this a really cool beach you know, vehicle like going for surfing or uh, anything like that. Everything would be really secure and you could fit it basically in the interior of the car. So that would be a much needed uh, design feature if they if they're going to offer that. We'll see. Here is the Cybertruck that I was alluding to. I'm not sure if this is the SpaceX campus, if this is the actual picture, but this is the the actual design that I saw a photo of on another YouTuber's channel. Um, and so this is just to prove that, yes, it does exist in real life. Here's some other concept designs. This looks a little clunky. The whole purpose of having the aerodynamic design is because your range limited. In other words, that's why the front of the Cybertruck is so sleek. That's why you have the vault covering up the back, because if you the back of the truck would act as an air scoop. So it would take off quite a bit of range if you had something like this. So I definitely wouldn't want this as a feature, but perhaps some people would, and perhaps a third party company could come up with a camper shell like this. Uh, here's another iteration of an enclosed camper shell. Uh, as I alluded to before, this would be kind of cool if they had something enclosed like this. I think it does take a little bit away from the aerodynamic but not as much as something like this. And then the last feature that I would like is 350 miles of range. This is just a few Google map photos here that shows you like different distances around California. For instance, it's only 270 miles to Las Vegas. So with a 350 mile range, you would easily make it from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. That's no big deal. Even if you have a Model 3 with 300 miles of range, it's not a big deal at all. San Francisco to Los Angeles is 382 miles, so you'd have to stop once. Now, I have to explain this a lot to new uh, buyers or people that have not converted to electric cars yet, but it is really hard to drive for five hours and 49 minutes straight. So most likely you're gonna be stopping at least once, To and when you stop the charging stations, the Tesla charging stations, there's probably, I don't know, 10 or 20 on this route. Um, they all have bathrooms, fast food restaurants, everything by them. So you could just walk to them. It's very convenient where they set up all the charging locations. So you can easily make it San Francisco to Los Angeles, just stopping once. And uh, I just did a stop on the five here and got a hundred miles in like 10 minutes um, in my model three. So the charging is quite fast. And I like got to my car and I was like, I want to go get something to eat, but I had to move the car because it was full already. So it does fill up quite fast. Um, and then the last kind of picture is Los Angeles to Phoenix, 373 miles again, around six hours to get there or five hours if you're a fast driver. I can't do that in one leg. So again, I'm gonna have to stop anyways. Uh, so you could really get around with 350 miles of range. If it is only like 320 or 300, I would definitely still get the Cybertruck uh, because it's gonna be well worth it for the durability, longevity, gas savings, Etc. 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 On and on and on. It's just uh, it's going to be the best utility vehicle ever created, in my opinion. Uh, feel free to leave your opinions down below. Uh, but that is my Cybertruck wish list. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and I'll see you on the next one.